How is everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client is flying in from Canada to get a cover-up done. And the person that I'm tattooing is Caleb, better known as Moose. Great drops as well. Moose with the showstopper gets to no fucking way. Moose does it. Unbelievable. No. Friend thing, no rifles. He may get another kill. There it is. That's up to 2,700. How much more money do you want to make, Moose? He's hitting headshots left and right. And Moose, he's doing it tonight. One more shot needed from Moose. Oh. The Moose is loose! I don't know if you guys remember, but about six to seven years ago, people started getting a forest around the wrist tattooed with the trees going up the forearm, and it became very popular about six, seven years ago. And if you have one of these tattoos, let me know if you still like it as much as you did when you first got it done, or if you're slowly starting to not like it anymore. And my client is no longer happy with it, so we're gonna cover it up with something insane. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Hello, the subject is professional gamer with a horrible half sleeve in need of a miracle. Currently, I travel the world to play video games. What? Oof. He's living your dream. <laughs> <laughs> what? For a long time, Kevin was considering becoming a professional gamer. No, you were, let me you were no, really, no, 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 you no. were really considering Not it. Not a gamer. Like I only play Rocket League. That's it. <laughs> Currently, I travel the world to play video games, and it's pretty cool except for one problem. This tattoo on my right arm. As for the design of the tattoo, I think giving you full freedom to make something we will both be extremely happy with is, is a play. Oh. Oh. You're holding it backwards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. <laughs> oh. oh, it's backwards. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. So where are you from? Where are you coming from? Ontario, Canada. Hey, let's yeah. go. Is it cold over there right now? The snow is like just uh, like going away. Ah, it's okay, starting okay. To heat up, starting to heat up. It's starting to heat up right now. Nothing, coming nothing like to, yeah, <laughs> nothing no. like you. Uh, you I walked out of that airport like. Uh, <laughs> I didn't pack very close for sure, <laughs> but it's okay. Did you bring sweaters? I brought one one hoodie, but only like sweatpants. Okay. I see I see what you had and I was like, he needs my help. Yes. <laughs> so you say you're a gamer? Yeah. Uh, so what do you play? So everybody can I play Valorant right now, but uh -huh. I, before I played CSGO. And then you go to different competitions. Yeah yeah. That's insane. I mean it's fun, it's better than anything else I would yeah. be doing, you know, so just playing video games against yeah. other best people in the in the world. That's so. so sick. It's definitely a good job. Bro, have you ever gotten like so mad that you just like, you stay mad for like a whole day? Uh, I'm honestly like, throughout my whole career I've been really chill. Oh, like wow. there's people that slam their desk and stuff. Mm -hmm. But ever since I switched to this game Valorant, mm -hmm. it's starting to come out of me. Like this game does something <laughs> else to me. Like, <laughs> I've had some slams, <laughs> but. What, what places have you traveled to? So, like a lot of places in America, but mm -hmm. I mean, that's probably not that exciting, but uh, like, I've been to Australia, Brazil, Serbia, <laughs> Germany a couple times, Sweden a couple times, Poland a couple times. What the fuck? And what are we doing, bro? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Why am I tattooing? I shoot, I'm gonna take a year off. Practice hey, after, after this tattoo that you can take a year out. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, do my tattoo me. first. Yeah. Alright, so we got the outer form ready. Let me just see where everything lands. Yeah, should be fine. 9 a.m. tomorrow. Yes, and then uh let's well, fucking kill it, bro. Alright my guy. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Rest and drink a lot of water. I will. Drink a lot of water. Go to sleep right now, bro. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. My goal is for the face to land right here because I want to be able to uh, use the face as uh, the center of attention. So whenever you see this, this cover up or the tattoo, the face doesn't have to be really dark in order for me to cover anything up. Because the, the pine trees, they're, they're dark, they're really dark, and me trying to cover up the pine trees with uh, a face, I'm going to have to 
uh, bump up the contrast and I don't want that because the face is very very bright so I'm gonna do I'm gonna apply the stencil where the face lands boom right here relax your arm as much as you can there you go don't think about it too much just kind of glance at it and let it happen The face landed right where I wanted it. Nice. There you go. Yes. I don't know that lyrics, bro. <laughs> Well, you're gonna go home speaking Spanish, bro. <laughs> you, you, you know how to speak three languages? Well, if I learn Spanish here, then I will. I know French. Oh, you know French? Crazy. It's a good spot to explain a couple things. Um, so there's two trees here, and there is a lot of open gaps. I can easily just go and start adding texture across the whole entire thing, from here to here to here to here. But we also gotta make sure that we keep in mind that it doesn't just look super dark. So. I'm using my 7 round liner right now with a voltage of a 5.0 and I'm going to be using my medium tone here, my medium gray and what I'm going to do is make this into a glare of the helmet. It's not on my reference um, but I definitely need some sort of glare on the helmet to bring it back to or to make it look brighter. So that's why I'm gonna make this little gap here into a glare, going dark here so I can fade it out. So medium gray, start adding textures. And little details like this is what really makes uh, a piece come together. And when it comes down to doing, you know, cover-ups, you just gotta, there's some areas that you just gotta improvise. But you have to be 100% sure about what you're doing. No sense all about me. And then once you start creating that glare, start, you know, going inside the glare and adding texture, little scribbles, dots, X's. Cause it can't be just blank, you know, you gotta also continue the same pattern to make it look like one. Damn! 
con gasolina? Sí. Se retiró Daddy Yankee. No. I'm about to tattoo with the beat, bro. I'm about to be doing extra texture with this song, bro. Duro. Ella le gusta la gasolina. And just like that, you start creating that glare. Start build, just build it up slowly. I definitely, for me, was a. It is something that I usually like to do. I can't concentrate right now, bro, with this song. <laughs> I can't even explain nothing. I wonder, I wonder if my, my other clients get nervous when I say, you know, all you gotta do is just improvise. See what happens. <laughs> you, don't get, you don't get nervous? Look what was on it before, bro. Those are facts, bro. You had traces. Perfect. That glare, though. See what I mean? I'm gonna keep adding more texture, but you get the idea of what I'm trying to do. Is adding, uh, making this the glare, high contrast here, and then do the same thing on here, so it looks even across the whole helmet, and you don't have to go solid black across the whole entire thing. Because if you have a, if you know, if you're doing a cover up and everything looks black, then what's the point? You know, you gotta separate the contrast, the highlights and make it, let the, the tattoo breathe. If it's not breathing, it's not gonna be legible. Who started calling you Moose? It's just like the name I chose. Like I needed to choose a name and then uh -huh. it seemed appropriate. So it was like, this is it? I don't know, it just worked. And now everyone, when I make a big play, they all go, the Moose is loose. So <laughs> I got my own, that's so dope. I got my little slogan. Oh, that's dope. Oh. The Moose is loose! The Moose is loose. <laughs> that sounds so sick. One of like my best clips ever was like uh, we're at a big tournament it was called the minor but it leads up to like the major which is pretty much like the Super Bowl of Counter-Strike and if you make the major you get like a little sticker with your signature in the game that people can put on their guns and you like get money from it so you're pretty much like immortalized within the game uh -huh. and so we were playing the minor, we were playing like the best team in North America, the best team at the, or not the best team in North America, but the, the, the team that was favorited to win the minor, mm -hmm. and like top three North America, and we are third map, and uh, it was like a 1v5, and I won it, and my, my team like went crazy. I bet you got goosebumps, huh? You were like, what? Nah, I was chill. Like, in, the, chill? in the clip, you can see I don't even move. Like, I don't even react. <laughs> but my teammates are going crazy around you me. You were like, just like... Yeah, yeah, I was just like... What do you feel, bro? I'm chilling. I'm excited for tomorrow. Oh! And we are done for today, bro. Let's go. Are you ready? How you feeling, bro? Good. <laughs> That's the two big ass apples in your hand. We're in the shower. Uh -huh. Oh. It hurt so bad. It hurt, huh? It was burning. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, right where I pictured it. Perfect size. Sheesh. You ready, bro? Yep. Advertising Jesus juice, like always. Sass. All right, so here you go. We have the rest of the form here that we're gonna complete today. He, he has a flight to catch tonight at 12, uh, at midnight. 
So we've had a whole bunch of time. What time is it right now? Like 9? Yeah, 9.25. Oh yeah, we got a lot of time. So my goal for this stencil is to make sure that the eye here goes right through the middle. So this tree here is going to go through the middle of the octopus here. I feel like I say it wrong. Every time I say octopus, <laughs> octopus. 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 Pus? Octopus. Yeah. Pus. O octopus, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no octopus. octopus. Squid. I feel like I can say squid better than octopus. I gotta get. I gotta get comfortable. Okay, here we go. A little bit more and sass. Sass, sass, sass. If you were to use sass, 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 <laughs> that sound effect on when you play video games, it would throw everybody off. Yeah? Like if you just sass, 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 you know? <laughs> it would throw everybody off, bro. Some of the guns in this game, like you can buy uh, like different skins and stuff. Uh -huh. And some of the guns make different noises, so maybe they'll add that to the game. Sass, sass, sass. Yeah. Sound by Mr. Rages. All right, let's go. I would like to talk about how important it is to have your highlights and your contrast in the right spot. Just look at, just look at how much of a difference it's gonna make for me to do this eye on this octo, octo, <laughs> octopus, pulpo, <laughs> the squid. There has to be another way to say octopus, bro. Like. Oh wait, I think I just said it right, without yeah, thinking octopus. about it. Octopus. Octopus. Look at the difference that this is going to make. So we have the eye here. I did a pretty simple stencil. Heavy contrast right under the eyelid. Heavy black. Because this is a cover-up, you got to take advantage of those open space uh, or those negative or blank areas of the skin heavy black so you gotta go in there don't be scared adding texture at the end of that uh, shadow under the lid is gonna make it happen and make a, a few adjustments as you're tattooing if you feel like you can move it a couple millimeters do it if it's gonna land on the spot that you want it to land. Now, uh, on my reference, it looks a little dark. I'm gonna see if I can put a picture around here to use it as a reference. On my reference, it looks completely black, but I am gonna add texture. I'm gonna enhance the texture under the, this eyelid. Uh, I'm using a 14 round liner with the same voltage that I use in every tattoo, in every piece, in every placement, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, five round or uh, 5.0 voltage. So using 5.0 voltage with the 14 round liner. And just do textures. 
If you're new to my channel, if you look at all my videos, this technique is something that I've been using for years now and it makes me really happy to see that other artists are benefiting. Benefiting? Benefiting? Ben Something's wrong with my vocabulary today, bro. <laughs> It makes me happy to see the other artists I are, uh, I'm help. Lord Jesus, my God. <laughs> I should just stick to tattooing, bro. I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> yeah, a lot of our artists uh, are sending me their tattoos, uh, showing me that the technique worked for them, and that makes me really, really happy. Uh, so give it a try and send me a message on Instagram if it worked out for you. But I highly recommend it. It's not an easy technique to, uh, to learn, but once you learn it, it's definitely gonna help out. It's definitely gonna elevate your game. For me, it's pretty much muscle memory at this point. Uh, I, I'm able to do the textures that I need to do in one single stroke. Uh, because of my, my hand movement, muscle memory, the pressure that I'm putting on the skin and the tones that I'm using, I'm so comfortable with them that I'm able to just go in, single stroke, and next thing you know, I have a lot of texture, just like I just showed here. So I'm gonna go in in here, this little corner, boom. So as you can see, once I, I reach the end of the drop shadow here under the eyelid, I'm just gonna slightly start doing little textures, very separated from each other. That way it's not as dark. Now this is a little bit hard to explain for me, so I'm just gonna kinda show what I'm doing and hopefully you can kinda get an idea of what I'm doing, because it is a little complicated to explain. I wouldn't even know how to explain this part. The best thing I can do is show you. And I'm just using solid black right now. I'm not using any gray tones at the moment. Just solid black. So now that I'm looking at the whole thing, I'm like, okay, now I'm able to see the shape of the eye. I really like the textures, but before I continue adding more contrast, I'm gonna go in into inside the eyeball and pack in those solid blacks because I wanna make sure that I'm not going too dark. And you know, me just working on this area and not looking at the full picture, what can happen is that once I'm done, I'm gonna be like, damn it, I went too dark or I need more contrast in it. So I'm just moving evenly, uh, I'm navigating, that way I don't get lost in the contrast and highlights. So I'm, I'm looking at the bigger picture the whole entire time. Wow, that was pretty smooth, not even gonna lie. <laughs> that was very satisfying. <laughs> Same thing here. Perfect, so now I'm gonna look at everything. And right now what I need is to keep adding texture here on the corner. 
and I'm just using solid black, so I feel like I'm in a good spot. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. There you go. Before I add my gray tones inside the eyeball, I like to, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of mapping it out and seeing how, how it's gonna look with the gray tones. It's kind of like a little preview. All right, now I'm gonna look at the whole thing. All right, perfect. Now I'm ready to start adding the gray tones. Texture, texture, there you go. I'm gonna make this the, the brightest part of the eyeball right here, because I definitely gotta cover that up with some gray tones. And uh, so I'm gonna make this the, the glare. I'm gonna go in and fade out. And fade out. Perfect. <sighs> that was a lot of explanation. So how do you feel about the whole thing having the trees finally disappear? Yeah. After what, like six years, right? It's been a while. Honestly, I like to forget about when I got that, so it's kind of like try to erase it from my mind, but I'm honestly mind blown with how it came out. Like, you went crazy. I'm just happy. Like, I didn't know what, like, what was possible with what I had already, you know? Like, I don't know what's possible, and like, I never thought something like this would be possible, so it feels like, honestly, I can't really put it into words. Like, it feels like a long time coming, and like, it's really, it's crazy. It was my pleasure, my guy. I'll Thank you so much. With, uh, hey. the arm. <laughs> Get the moves going. Yeah, hey, I'm down. Hopefully soon. Yeah. You let me know. I'm ready. I'll let you know, bro. <laughs>